have y e l t s plus one and two. If you have some question about the previous class, if you don't understand the writing class, you can ask me. When, uh, I will try to solve your problems. And let's have seen some inventory of I e l t s. Can have looked some such thing. Uh, this is about the task two. two. Before that, we like to go to the task one. This is about the task one. As you know, that in the real TS writing task one, there are some um, question type like this table, bar, chart, graph, or diagrams. First of all, we have to understand the table very clearly, then you have to write at least 150 words. What do you understand? For example, if I analyze the travel, here we can have some key, some information like this. The, the, the table below so gives information on the consumer spending on different items in five different country in 2002. Now we have to understand the table, what the information we are getting with the fixed with the travel. Here, some, some country like Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sudan, and Turkey. And the uh, consumption item, food, drink, tobacco, clothing, footwear, leisure, and education. There are many cases of consumption. Now we have to write down the question. We have to answer the question in 20 minutes, at least 100 people. Now, I like to learn from the participant. Here we have some new, per some new person, uh, Selena Begum. I like to know from Selena Begum. Selena, are yes, you listening? Sir. Yes, sir. So, I'm Selena Begum, me? sir. Can Sorry, you tell sir. Me, do, you have, do you have idea about ILCS writing fast? Uh, sir, I have some idea, no details. Mm. Uh, reading so, is, uh, is, it your, is it your first classes? Is it your first classes? Yes, sir. This is first class. Okay, Selena. Uh, so you miss many classes. I like to recommend you to join our Facebook group. There are, you can find lots of classes I have conducted. Reading, writing, speaking as well. You can gather lots of idea. First of all, uh. You know, IELTS mean International English Language Testing System. It has four module: listening, reading, writing, and speaking. In the classes, we are discussing we are discussing about writing. In the writing IELTS, there are two tasks. Task one. This is about the task one. In your real task, you, you can find this kind of question in task one: table, some picture. Uh, watching and seeing some picture you have to understand what the information they like to give you and once you understand the question you have to write at least 150 word in 20 minutes selena can you please explain the question is about what do you understand about the question sir uh, sorry please repeat it can you please tell me the question i you can see in the screen what the question is, or did you understand the question? Sir, uh, the screen has shown uh, five countries statistics uh, and uh, varieties, uh, um, uh, varieties types uh, explain food drink, uh, such as food drinks, clothing items, uh, or footwear and uh, laser education. 
Um, oh, this is about Selena. This is about a picture that give you information regarding information. some food consumption, food eater. Yeah, yeah, sir. Food consumption. So like many country like Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey. Sweden and people of Turkey. Turkey. How much? How much drink? How much tobacco they eat? How much clothes? How much? Uh, clothing. They okay. spend money for clothing. How much uh, money they spend for leisure time and education? People of Italy, how much money they are spending for drinking or food, tobacco? People in Italy, how much money they are spending for clothes and food wire? People in Italy, how much money they are spending for leisure time? People in Spain, how much money they are spending for food and drink? People in Spain, how much money they are spending for clothing? People in yes, Spain, sir. how much they are spending for leisure time. In leisure Sweden, time, how much yes. they are spending for food, spending for clothing, spending for leisure time. Turkey time. people, how much money they are spending. So I think you, time. Selena, you understand the question. Did you understand? Yes. So in your real task, you can have like this question. This is called IELTS task one. And you have to write at least 150 watt, what do you understand the picture? And your time is 20 minutes. What do you think? Can you write the information you got in 20 minutes? Uh, sir, uh, may I have, uh, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. You like to know, you like to talk about that. You like to, uh, uh, you like to write some things or you like to explain something. Are you? I think you don't have idea. I like to give you idea. You don't have idea. I like to give you a total idea. So next person is that uh, Mr. Kaji Nila Rahman. Kaji Nila, can I talk with you? Can I know your identification? Kaji Nila. I think Kaji Nila is not listening to me. Uh, we listen from other person, uh, Mr. Sabir Hussain. Mr. Sabir. Yes, sir. Sir, can I interpret the whole table? Uh, you can have the whole, this is the whole table. This is the table. This okay. is the whole table. This oh. is the whole table. Do I need to explain all the thing what I have got you on you this? Can. You can. If you understand, you like to explain of your own sentences. What do you understand the table? Okay. The table illustrates the pro proportion of national expenditure in Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey on three types of consumer items in 2002. Overall, the category of consumer goods that all countries spent uh, most on was food, drinks, and tobacco, which was three times higher than uh, on the other types of goods. The lowest spending could be seen in the category of leisure and education in all five countries. The outlay of Turkey was generally higher than the um, other four countries. So do I need to explain all the uh, statistics, which country has uh, highest and which country has lowest? Okay, Sabir Hussain, you have idea. So uh, I will explain how to write to get your respected score and uh, make me confirm that other person understand or not. Asgar Khan, please, Asgar. Yeah, you, yes. Uh, whether you understand the question or not. Yeah, I can. Uh, I have understood this question. Uh, I have uh, shown the uh, table chart, which given the uh, five countries they are uh, in 2022. Uh, different item, they uh, how they can use the percentage is given. Uh, at first, Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey. Uh, they are mm, uh, food, drinks, and tobacco percentage they higher what they have used and uh, clothing they have used the percentage which is given 
and laser and education. Uh, this is the overall. Okay, thank, uh, you, Mr. Mr. Azhar, thank you very much. Now we will plan to have seven classes for eight classes for how to write down. Remember that in IELTS writing, uh, you have to remember four basic things that first of all, you have to understand the question very clearly and have to understand question requirement. For writing class one, there are three or four categories. And, and five is that the tables, some are charts, some are graphs, some are diagrams. So for writing all four categories, we have to make a spare pace. First one should be introduction. Second one should be overview and the body paragraphs. Four, three or four paragraphs you can write down. And in accordance with to write, to write the, the table, we have to understand the question is that we understood the question is about the spending money by, uh, by the people in four country, uh, five country, Ireland, Italy, Spain, and Sweden, Turkey. So what we have to write down, you have to write down sir, by write down the question as the introduction in two sentences or, or three sentences, uh, not copying the, the questions. If you are going to write down the question of your own sentence, you can write that the table gives us table uh, illustrate, table uh, provide information about, uh, about the spending money by the people in, 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 in six country, uh, five country like Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey. Then you can write an uh, overview like this, the overall, it can be seen in the table, most professional, most per overall, what we have to write in the overview. In the overview, you have to write the focal points, uh, the highlight points you can see in here it's the most of, most amount of money have been spent by the people in Turkey for food than others country as well as Ireland. Uh, on the other hand, for uh, clothing, for leisure time, almost all the countries spend little amount of money. This is about the overview. Then you go to the para pages. I can I can show the some things, uh, some uh, simple writing, you can understand. How many paragraphs they write down? They write down one, two, three, four paragraphs. In the first paragraph, the writer explain, explain the introduction of their own idea or knowledge. We can have a look. The table show the, shows the percentage of percentage of consumer, that means customer expenditure for three categories of product and service in five country in 2002. Overall, the largest proportion of consumer spending in each nation went on uh, food stops, babies, and tobacco. The lawyers was for equation and learning. This is about the overview and introduction. Three sentences, the writer write them. Now, the uh, next paragraph is about, with regard to food, is about the food, beverages, and tobacco, the nation that spend highest was food at 32.16 percent, followed by Ireland at nearly 29 percent. Spain was hard with 18.8 percent, um, whilst Italy and Sweden were 16.63 percent and 15.77 percent respectively. This is a the next paragraph is about turning to clothes. First paragraph is about food. Second paragraph is about the clothes. Turning to clothes and shoes with 
accounted for the second biggest proportion of spending. The Italian spend the highest proportion at exactly 9%. And the next highest proportion were by the Irish, Spaniards, and Turkish at around 6.5. The Swedes, Spain, the last at 5.45. Finally, spending on leisure and education was the lowest for the five nations, mean five countries. The highest level of spending was by the Turkish at 4.35%. The next highest was in Sweden and Italy was 3.22% and 3.2%, respectively. Well, Spain had the lowest proportion of being 1.98 percent. So this is about the paraphrasing. First paragraph is introduction as well as overview. Second paragraph is about food. Third paragraph is about clothing. And fourth paragraph is about leisure time. So the very important thing for task one to make paraphrase. First paragraph, you have to write down the introduction and you can add the overview, then you can make a paraphrase. Now, Asghar, can you please explain, did you understand or not? Yeah, I have got uh, it and I, I have understood. So, um, and this is about travel. So what do you have to plan? How you have to plan to write this, this kind of travel in your real test of IELTS? Sir, I have a, some uh, one question. Uh, uh, you have to you have uh, uh, given the information. I have to paraphrase. Just how I can even, uh, give it um, uh, according to, uh, how I can um, increase my this type of knowledge. How I can paraphrase the uh, information. Earlier, earlier I mentioned, first of all, you have to understand the question very clearly. What information question like to give you? And yeah. the question like to give you some information about consumption, spending money by the people in some five country. So these kinds of questions, if you find, you have to write first paragraph, the introduction. In the introduction paragraph, we are recommended to write the question you understand very easily in two sentences of your own language. As the writer mentioned in here, writer, write down in here, question right now, the table show the percentage of consumers spend you, expenditure of three categories of food, product, and services in five countries in 2002. This is the question writer mentioned and the question uh, then write, uh, write down the overall overview. What we will write in overview, we will write in overview some highlight. Highlight points overall the highest or largest proportion of consumer spending in each nation went yeah. on food stock. That means in every country, people, highest amount of people spend money for foods. So this is the overview. This is the highlight. You have to write in the second paragraph the overview, mentioning that overall the highest percentage and the lowest percentage. This is the open. Then you can get to the para pages. In the para page, the writer make three paragraph. First paragraph for the food, second paragraph for the clothing, and the third paragraph yeah. for the uh, leisure time. This is up to you, or you can write in. In, in one paragraph, it depends on you. Yeah, yeah. I think that you understand. Yeah, yeah, so, I've got uh, it now. Yeah, and now, now it is clear than previous one. Yes, thank you. Uh, Sabir Khan, Sabir Khan, can you please explain again how you plan to write uh, ILTS task one to get your expected score? So at first I have to make us a topic sentence and uh, what i have what i have got from the table and then uh, then i have to give an overview 
of the table, then uh, I have to divide the paragraph into three body. And I don't need to give all the details in my paragraph, just uh, uh, I have to mention the averages or ranges uh, between the uh, three, between these three categories. Um, then uh, I, uh, I don't need to make the paragraph more, more lengthy. I have to put uh, less than yes, thank you. Words. Okay, uh, less than 200, more than 150, 100, word, you 150 don't words. To, we don't need to, you don't need to make an essay, right? You have to just yes, write, yes. make a summary, summary in short way, just make summar summarizes uh, information, short way, you can compare, you can compare where you need to compare. But the very important thing, if you are looking to have seven plus eight score, you have to focus, very important thing, your writing should be clear. First point, yes. you can use, you can use a passive voice. You can use <laughs> uncommon sentences, uncommon <clears throat> words. You can use conjunctional words. And if you use a word again and again, it's not good for you to have seven plus score. You can have 6.5, but to get seven plus score, 7.5 score, 8 score, more score, you have to be concerned that your writing should be more clear to the readers. And you try to write to so use synonyms word. You can, you can add a sentence using complex sentences, uh, relative pronouns and try to make your sentence in passive voice. Then you are, you are going to have eight score, 7.5 score. If you are looking there to is, have this score. There is one, phone, one more thing. I have to use some transitional words which, uh, which makes my sentences more clear. What exactly, comes next exactly after right, that? Right. Exactly yes. right. You can use the I have to, of I will try to avoid being repeated in my sentence structures. Uh, which will help uh, me to get good score. Uh, you will try to avoid what kinds of sentences you mentioned? The repetitive. Yeah, I mentioned that you you don't need to repeat a sentence or repeat a word. This is yes, very sir. important information to have your respected score. These things is very because you know IELTS every short sub module depend on your knowledge, own knowledge and experience. Your strategy help you your basic knowledge help you to have your practice score now um i think so our new person selena could understand selena could you please tell me do you understand this kinds of question or not hello sir selena can you please share you do, do you do you understand the question or not sir a little uh Little bit because it, understand. It, it, it is your not first writing, sir, but I it explain. This is your Hello, first sir. classes, that's why. Yeah, okay, please. Yeah, so this is my first class, but I explain to feel shy. Um, I don't understand how can I explain uh, about chart. But this uh, is not the, not the matter of not, not the matter of feeling shyness because. Uh, uh, you are you are here to learn. We are here to teach you. So remember yes. that we will try to try our level best to teach you. If you don't understand, without any hesitation, without any shyness, you can ask me your query. We will try our best to teach you. Then we will try to help you to have your respect the school. Okay. So yes, if you are regular with our classes, I think everything will be more clear to you. Now let's uh, discuss yes, uh, more things. Uh, uh, Selena, understand. Sir, okay. may, may yes. I again try to say about chart? Yeah, you can, you can. I like to show you the chart. Okay, sir. I'll try, try, sir. I'll yeah. try. And I like um, to give you the question you like to give me the question uh, you can see the question again then you can okay, try sir. to explain your own word what do you understand the question okay sir uh, i will try about table uh, this table has shown or uh, explain about five county uh, i'll have uh, food consumption uh, consumer food consumption 
uh, here is a shown five countries, Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey. Uh, and uh, uh, explain about food drinks, uh, clothing, and laser time. How can Ireland right. uh, use uh, their uh, food drink and uh, time uh, clothing and use clothing and laser time? Uh, here is shown Ireland uh, food drink uh, used to the uh, highest 28.91% and uh, clothing use 6.43 percent besides laser uh, time uh, is to lowest uh, foodings and clothing then okay uh, selena, is... selena okay and this i thank you selena uh, how will you plan to write this kinds of question in your real chart Sorry, sorry, sir. How? How will Some you write media? down? How will you write down in your real ILTS task this kinds of question? Uh, sir. For example, sir, uh, in the first three first people, you can write the introduction. Yes, sir. And the introduction breakdown. What will you write? For introduction, what will you write? So, at first, uh, you will I'll... write. You will write the question. What you understand of your own land knowledge. For this region, Selena, you have to learn the basic English, because if you are not able to write, able to make a sentence of your own knowledge, you cannot have good score in ILTS because, you know, ILTS means International English Language Testing System. What does it mean? It means whether you... Yes, sir. English or not, it is justified of your own knowledge. I think it's clear um, to understand. Yes, sir. My basic knowledge is so poor, sir. I feel that. So I recommend you, uh, if you are looking to have master degree in pastoral country, you must um, achieve at least 6.5 score in ILTS. Yes, to, the, to achieve this score, you have to struggle, you have to work hard. So first of all, emphasize on your foundation English Classic English. So have a look at some things in the essay, in the task. Uh, some synonym word we need to be familiar. For example, a spending synonym is expenditure, country synonym is nation, food drink synonym is a food stuff, clothing, clothes, food, uh, footwear shows, leisure time, recreational, some. Some synonym word you have to be familiar. Then you will write down. So now we can have the loops, other types of questions. We will try to write down this type of question of our own knowledge. But you can see this kind of question it is. First of all, what kinds of question it is? We have to understand. And uh, if you understand the question, you will write. You are able to write down. This is a diagram. Diagram are two categories. One is the map, map of some construction, building construction, or some construction. You can find like this map. So in this kinds of map, you have to write down the situation, conditions, infrastructure of the map, past, present, and futures. You will explain what were the first thing in the map, what the present, what will be the future, past, present, and future. Sometimes you can see some diagrams, like proceeding diagrams, like the chocolate factory, the step of cho making chocolate, first step, second step, third step. We can discuss about the things that, first of all, we have to read the question. The two maps below show 
and Ireland and before and after the construction of some tourist facility. You can see in the map, in the Ireland, the first map before there is nothing, just a tree and the blanks, empty fields. But after a few years, lots of construction, lots of building, lots of, lots of uh, uh, infrastructure have been built. So the thing is that to write this kind of first one, you have to plan what were in the past, what will be in the future, put the, some symptom of the foot, foot path and vehicle trucks. Now, I would like to ask you the question from Mr. Asger. Asger, do you understand the picture or not? Um, sir, I... I can understand from this uh, picture at first figure, there has no uh, infrastructure in here. In the second uh, structure, it has a lot of, lot of infrastructure in here. Uh, I think that the uh, tourist place uh, uh, has become more uh, uh, fruitful and more. it has a more uh, facilities uh, in the second diagram. And the first diagram, uh, this this is that the island. It has no facilities. I think that um, it has no uh, residence area, has no uh, facilities. But in the second diagram, it has a lot of facilities in here. This is my uh, thought, and this is my opinion. Um, the between the two diagram, I have okay. Found Adger, a, Adger, uh, if you are going to write down this kind of breakdown. How will you plan? How many paragraphs you can write? Two paragraphs, three paragraphs, or how many paragraphs will be better for you to write down? Uh, I think that at first I have to uh, give information about the um, uh, diagram, the overall uh, introduction, and uh, what, what things I can see uh, that I have to write it um, here, just like is here. Uh, is a two diagram. The first is uh, has um, this way, uh, whatever I have uh, discussed in earlier. But uh, then uh, uh, I have to explain the what I have found in first diagram and second diagram, and what if the second diagram have more facilities? What kind of facilities the tourist would be uh, will be get? And I think that uh, we can write uh, firstly introduction secondly comparison um, then third uh, we have to highlight the more facilities about the second diagram thank you thank you mr asgar you, you understood well so uh, sabi can explain how will you write down mr sabi uh, if you have like this question in your real task how will you write down to have your expected score so firstly i will provide uh clear topic sentence what i have got from uh, these two diagram and then i have uh, i will give an overview of the of these two diagrams then uh, i will compare with the with with the before diagram uh, and uh, after after what has uh, changes then before then um, i will choose uh, some area where, what uh, changes has done uh, uh, than the previous one, then I will conclude the paragraph. Okay, Mr. Mr. Sabir Khan, I like to uh, help you to get some information. For example, you are in Dhaka city. In the Dhaka city before 20 years, the Mirfur, Mirfur, there was no, in Mirfur, there were, there were no Mirfur 10, Mirfur 12, there are no Jew, beautiful Jew or some new infrastructure. But nowadays, the government have been built lots of things. But in future, they have a plan to do more things. So the picture, the map, how will you explain? So I have to explain the map. Mm -hmm. so I have to explain the map. Yeah, you, you, uh, my question is that uh, if the fixtures show you, if the map show you about the Mirpur, some places like a Jew, the in Mirpur, 
Jew, there were no, no tiger, no, uh, no foreign uh, animals before 20 years, no horses, no elephants. But uh, now they, the authority of Mirpur Jew have been, have bought many, many foreign animals, many stranger animals in the, the Jew. They constructed lots of cages for the animals. But in future, they have planned to, to change their infrastructure. So how can you explain this kind of map? Uh, in the previous time, Mirpur has, uh, there, 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 uh, there were no Jew and there was no animal there, but uh, in, by changing the time, uh, government has, uh, uh, government has changed the, uh, government has changed the place and uh, make a Jew for the people who will um, come and see uh, and uh okay thank you sabir i like to give you a uh, give you a simple answer you can understand <laughs> sir, sir, uh, I, I, I have found another information in previous can i say the three yes, the, 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 the the authority uh, the authority give the priority for the tree because the, the first figure and second figure trees is still uh, here uh, so we can mm -hmm. compare them uh, this uh, like this uh, T, yep. uh, the, the authority has given priority uh, uh, to green facilities uh, to uh, to green because tree because first figure it also tree and second figure it also tree so it has uh, given a priority uh, to construct the building when the they have constructed building but tree is, uh, is still uh, here uh, can I uh, can I say it yeah you you, you can say it. you first of all focus the new things. Restaurant, you can see, as girl, there is a there will there after the, some year there will be a strand, there will be lots of building, there will be lots of vehicle trucks, as well as some some park in there. They construct some park, some some sort of some sort of houses around the tree. But the uh, they have made a the what the streets or the made they have made a um piers of some accommodation accommodation places in the the in uh, in the future the cbs will decorate it will be will be adorned some sort of things so uh, you can explain now as good uh, yeah uh, here the uh, sir uh, would you please give me the question again yeah okay okay the question yeah 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 uh, but in second figure, the lot of facilities already we can uh, see it. The lots of restaurants and lots of uh, um, walking uh, way uh, in in second figure than first one. So the, the tourist uh, um, will give uh, will got the more facilities. Um, the base is uh, decorated by the uh, modern uh, um, modern way. Uh, the like this and lot of students for the tourists in here and lot of accommodation lot of um, uh, uh, hostel um, like this i think that this is uh, i cannot uh, see it more this is my uh, because okay you can see now you can see now see now there is the you can see in the accommodation side there is the in the sea, new uh, in, in old, uh, new uh, new restaurant. They will build some yeah. restaurant, and the accommodation places will be a standard. Uh, uh, will be um, adorned by some sort of thing. We can see, as yeah. we can see some 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 simple answer. You can gather some idea. Uh, yeah, first yeah, paragraph, yeah. You can see the introduction, how they write down yeah. in the introduction paragraph. Uh, yeah, even yeah. our two map, two made departing and islands before and after the building of tourist amenity. Overall, the island transformed from having no man, no man-made construction to an island that is covered with structure, spot, uh, except on the 
right hand side of the island. This is the introduction with overview. Next program is about um, starting with the first map or beginning with the first map. We show show the island has only one beach on the left side, and it is uh, burnt a spread for a few tree uh, scattered around it. The island is about 250 meters long and about 75 meter weight with no other notable future. The third picture. The second map. Second map illustrates the building of tourist infrastructure on the island. The left of the map shows the path was constructed to allow tourists to go swimming at the beach. The path is uh, connected to a ring of Bangalore. To the right of the path, a road was built with a reception building beside it. The road led to a restaurant above the reception and a, uh, in a jetty. JT Blue, it's that allow boat to dock. On the right side of the island, another wings of heart was constructed, got connected to by the apex. The far right remained free from the man made construction. So, as good you understand things, and Sabir, you understand yeah. very carefully. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, Sabir, can you please explain of your own sentences? I have given you the idea. Now you can, Sabir, I explain making parapets to write down to have you expected a school. For example, you are looking to have seven plus a school. What, how can you explain, please, Sabir? So, I explain this map. Yeah, of course. Uh, the, the maps depict an island. Uh, before and after some um, renovation works for tourists and compares the change on the island for the constructions. Um, gen uh, many few facilities have been constructed for tourists, including accommodations, um, restaurants, swimming facilities, etc. And those have been uh, built without affecting the natural resources that much. Uh, before the facilities, um, were constructed. Uh, there was only trees and beach on the island, and most of the places were empty. Um, uh, in this island, uh, many tourist facilities have been uh, made, including accommodation facilities, restaurant, reception center, uh, pirate boating, a swimming facility on the beach, and so on. Interestingly, plants and trees were not cut down to build these constru constructions and most of the constructions uh, were made near the beach. Um, uh, besides footpaths and roads for commuting have been built uh, to facilitate the tourists. The footpaths were made to walk between the um, residing places and uh, beach while the motor tracks were created to visit the restaurant reception area and pair off uh, pair for boating. So thank you, Angel. You understood. Thank you, Mr. Sabir. Uh, your explanation was so fine to have a uh, seven plus score. So I like to recommend you, uh, Mr. Sabir, if you are able to add some uncommon word, you are uh, you are a synonym word. You will have a good more good score as you are expecting now. And you have you are able to write the passive sentence is okay. You are able to write the conjunctional word is okay. But I like to recommend you to add some synonym word, uncommon word, not repeat a word again and again. And but your explanation is very fine. You are you are explaining very clearly. This is very good way for writing tough. Very important and good way. You can explain. I'll get you, you, did, did you understand? Asghar, did you understand how to have the uh, expected score as Sabir have explained? Yeah, yeah, I have got it, but uh, I need more practice um, uh, because 
um uh, if i will uh, because i have no uh, good idea about ilts from two or three class already i have done uh, that's why i need more practice inshallah uh, i will overcome my shortest Be very problem. important thing if you understand your mistake your problem it help you to have yeah. you expected it good this is yeah, our yeah, experience yeah. if you have a good knowledge we will train you to improve your skill more we will try to help you to gain you to help you to have a 8 plus 9 score but you have yeah. to understand the way of ilts writing reading speaking or all, all the module we are training yeah. our learners we are helping yeah. our learners and sabir can sabir yeah. can do better. sabir if sabir understand he can do better he can achieve his expected score but first of all sabir have to understand the way of writing i e l t s as today's classes we are discussing about task ones and in the previous classes we already discussed about task two we already learned how to write down the sentences how to make your essay very easily and very comfortably to have your respected score and now what things i like to know from uh, selina begum selina did you understand the fixer did you understand the question sir i understand but uh, i can't explain uh... so you you can you can understand that how sabir have explained has explained how the asgar has explained did you understand them sabir and asgar sir sabir explain is uh, is very nice i understand but i can't explain to gradually we we need to learn by listening or by following other I, you you can you can follow us in the classes how we are writing down but very sir. important thing if you are not able to write a sentence of your own knowledge nobody can help you to have you respect the score this is very important thing for you to learn the basic english how to write down a sentence of your own knowledge this is very important for you selina yes sir i need more practice sir okay selina can i can i know about you what do you what are you doing what do you study now what do you study now what do you do now are you a student or you are doing job sir no sir uh, i am uh, i am a, a apprentice lawyer working as dhaka jobs court okay so it, you are working at dhaka jobs court this language is jobs court is uh, a, a supreme court jobs court uh, is english so you are supposed to do more well than sabir and asgar khan because you oh. occupation with english so uh, you are familiar with english you are working as just court uh you will work in supreme court high court you have to be you have to uh go for verdicts go for practicing law in english so you have to emphasize english more and more for your more. professional way okay, okay so now okay. now i like to give you more other things about the other questions as you can see here uh, we will discuss the questions and we will try to write down the very easily uh, i will request to write down to, to read uh, the question sabir will read the question please sabir the graph uh, below was published in 2010 and shows energy used by different types of fuel in australia Okay, Sabir, can you please explain of your own sentences? What do you understand that graph? What the graph like to give you information? Sir, uh, I have to think one uh, for one minute. Then I will. Okay, explain. okay, explain. Yes, uh, you can think. So I will. I will help you. So first of all, the the graph below was published in two thousand ten and show energy use by different type of. Pure oil in Australia. You can see some information here. Ah, uh, information yes. here. Pink oil in Australia. First is the oil. Second is oil. Third is natural gas. Fourth one is the nuclear. Fifth one is uh, solar energy. 
here one, two, three, four, four type of energy have been used in Australia 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010, 2020, 2030. That means past tense, present tense, and future tense. Please submit, take times and explain. Uh, give us information. What do you understand by the by the graph? Sabir, can you start or uh, you need more time? Sir, I need two or uh, two to three minutes more. Sir, can can I can I give uh, give a open? Okay, you can you can please, uh, Asghar, okay. you can explain. Okay, <laughs> because uh, because um, okay, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. uh, I I have realized from this uh, uh, graph a which is given 1980 to 2030. The energy use, uh, uh, energy use, uh, which is given, and the um, the horizontal line, which is given the number of years, and the vertical line, which is given the number of uh, fuel, which uh, which is given by the units. And here we can see that the highest use fuel is oil, which is uh, near about fifty billion, and the lowest use, which is uh, uh, solar. Uh, well, which is near about 10 to 0 to 10 billion and uh, and uh, some other um, uh, natural on uh, some other energy will is also given uh, nuclear and natural gas and coal uh, so uh, we can uh, explain uh, by this way this is my uh, assumption overall from uh, this figure okay good mr asgar and you, we can have figure out the things that this is about the table for some statistic before 2010. Um, NRD use for different purpose in uh, purpose of in Australia, like uh, well, have been used uh, this percent billion, billion share the unit is a million unit. Well, from 1980 to 1990, 20, some year, it is uh, different uh, proportions, natural gases. Um, before that, we can, we can see some simple answer. Then you can understand very clearly. Here you have the fixer and fixer you have give you more information. First of all, here, the introduction is that the line graph Display energy consumption in Australia from 1980 to 2030 by five different energy shows. Overall, in the past, there was an um, upward trend for all type of energy aspect except uh, natural gas. And all pumps are predicted to increase by 2030. This is introduction and overview. Then to we will make a paragraph on well. Well is the big highest source of energy in 1980, uh, roughly 35 billion units of well were used and this increased to around 38 billion units by 20 times. Projection, projection show the use is well hit about 80, 48 billion by 2030. It's about the well, then the coil and natural gas. 
while a natural gas generates the next highest amount of energy while a start on the graph lowered roughly 16 billion units and set gas at 20 billion units in 2000. Both of those uh, the stores were around 20 billion and 10 oil started overtaking gas. By 2030, oil and gas are expected to claim to end at approximately 32 billion and 25 billion units, respectively. Then, say uh, natural and nuclear and solar. Nuclear and solar energy were both stable at about 4 billion units from 1980 to 2010. They are predicted to have the migrants uh, to have marginal increase in their unit of uh, consumption, raising 8 billion and 6 billion units, respectively, in 2030. So, um, Sabir and Asgar get idea. Can you, can Sabir please give us more clarifications what you understand, Sabir, now? Um, the line graph presents the expenditure of the five energy sources, such as oil, coal, natural gas, nuclear, and solar from 1982 to 2030. Um, the number of oil used is the highest in Australia compared to the others, while some sources of renewable energy such as nuclear and solar are expanded uncommonly. In 1980, oil consumption in energy was approximately 35 billion units. Um, by 2010, it increases by roughly 10 billion units and uh, reaches a peak of 45 billion units. Over the next 20 year period, it is forecasted to rise moderately to 50 billion um, units. For coal and natural gas, starting at about 20 and 15 billion units, respectively in 1980. By um, 2010, they are expanded about 25 billion units. The expenditure of coal is projected to increase by 10 billion units, whereas for natural gas, it will just rise by 5 billion units um, in 2010. The minor energy sources were nuclear and the solar. From 1980 to 2010, the consumption of both rose slightly from about 4 billion unit to roughly 7 billion units. They're expected to rise relatively slightly to about 10 billion units um, by 2030. Uh, uh, so that's all. Thank you, Mr. Sabir. But uh, same thing you are doing, just you sometime using a word and again and again, respectively, gradually, or you are using some normal word. Now you are being to have seven score is okay. But if you are looking to have more seven scores, 7.5, I like to recommend you to try to learn some medium word, complicated word, help you to have your very high score. And you are you doing good at presence. Now, uh, Asgar, can you please uh, hear you? What do you understand from Sabi's points of view? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, I have got um, um, from his view. Uh, I have to uh, maintain the sum uh, word, which is very uh, not common normally. Uh, we have to mm -hmm. use um, the sum conjunction word and some smart phrase. Uh, and some synonym we have to use um, from his explanation. A very important thing, so we are able to Right, very clearly. This is very good for. But uh, Asgar, you have to work for this uh, thing that to write the picture very clearly is very important for you, uh, particularly. Then you can emphasize to or oh, improve your score 
seven plus score just adding the sentences using conjunctional word as well as the uh, linking verbs or passive voice and then you try to use your uncommon word but first thing for you to decorate to uh, decorate your writing uh, very clearly in accordance with the question requirements selina yeah. begins please selina can you please share your comments regarding the picture what do you how can you write down the picture Selena, please share your comments. Uh, how, what do you understand? And how can you write down this kinds of pictures? Yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. Yes, please share your comments. How can you write down this kinds of pictures? Sir, this uh, diagraph, uh, uh, explain uh, energy used by fuel uh, 1982 mm -hmm. to 230 yes uh, i can see here uh, mm -hmm. when 1980 uh, this graph uh, explain oil oil natural gas nuclear and solar and when 1980 right. uh, solar was uh, zero then uh, nuclear was nine and yeah. 1990, uh, uh, 1990, uh, when nuclear was nine, then nuclear nine percent use say ninety. Okay, Selena, we you, you need to uh, do more things, and I like to give you uh, some information. If you are planning to preparing for ILTS, you recommended to collect some. Cambridge ILTS books uh, like uh, Cambridge 11 to 16. I like to share you this kinds of books and you like give you some homework as well. For example, if you start you practicing from Cambridge 16 and you can try yourself to write down uh, what do you understand from my classes. Uh, we will help you to write down, to collect some Cambridge books like uh, Cambridge 11 to for academic practices to Cambridge 16s. Uh, then you can practice or uh, if you understand my problem. Uh, sir, then, every day, sir uh, every day uh, four and five hours, uh, I, I will try more practice. Um, I will try Cambridge uh, and follow Cambridge book. Uh, but yes. uh, uh, Writing and reading is uh, my uh, first of all. Writing. First of all, you have to, first of all you have to emphasize on basic English. Then you try it with Cambridge books. Cambridge is advanced books. So I recommend you to 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 confirm to ensure that your basic is good. Then go turn to the Cambridge books. They will be more helpful for you. Without you, without practicing basic English, you can't do better with Cambridge ILTS. So try to practice uh, your, to improve your basic English, then move to the books, Cambridge, then practice yourself, you can do better. Asgar, do you have Cambridge, Asgar, do you have Cambridge, Cambridge ILTS books? Yes, I have. Um, I have a Cambridge ILTS book from one to 15. So uh, do you try yourself to write down to solve uh, from reading, listening, or writing? Uh, sometimes I try to um, uh, practice uh, listening case. Then uh, last uh, uh, day, uh, last couple of two days, I try to practice. Uh, I have tried to practice listening case, but <laughs> this was not uh, was not good because some cases I can't understand the um, word, some word, and some uh, information that I have I have missed. Um, some information. No, no matter, no matter why, if, you, if you join, if you join our classes, we will try. We will help you to uh, how to but write down. In, in, uh, but I have, reading. I have no information about the listening test. Although um, uh, I have uh, moreover, I have uh, given test, but uh, I have got two and three, some plus out of forty, but not that is not a good for me. Uh, I try to uh, 
uh, level with how I can improve. Uh, inshallah, I will improve my. Uh, if you if you ability. join with us permanently, uh, uh, Asgar, if you join with us permanently, we will try. Uh, we will try. You, you you can share your problem with us. We will try to help you to improve all yes. modules as we are training, writing, wrestling, speaking, all modules yes. we are training. You can get our best help. So uh, this is our homework. We can try. This is Cambridge 12, uh, writing task yes. one. And uh, I like to recommend you to try yourself to solve the question. This about the question is about the bar chart. Bar diagram. We show the percentage of Australian men and women in different age group who did regular physical activity in 2010s. So we have to confirm the bar chart, what the bar chart like to make us understand. Um, here you can see percentage and uh, uh, then you can see the group of people 15 to 24, 24 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 40, 40 for, uh, 54, 55 to 64, then over 65. So here the categories of people you can have, see, and you can have the information. Now you have to write down of your own knowledge and experience in 100, at least in at least 150 watts. And then you understand how to write down, you, have, you can make parapets, first of all, you can write down the uh, introduction, then you can make overview, then you can write the body paragraphs, you can decide how many paragraphs you write. Uh, can you write down for paragraph for male? Can you write down for female? Just up to you, or you can compare between men and women's uh, physical activity they do in Australia. Sabir, did you understand the picture or I have to make you more clear? Uh, no, sir, I have understood. Uh, this is Cambridge 12, task one. If you have the Cambridge 12, you can practice yes, and this next classes we will discuss or you can submit your writing task in our Facebook group. If you join with our Facebook group, which is uh, ILTS and Hassle Free Education, you can submit your homeworks. I will evaluate your score. Okay, sir. Uh, Selina, can you please understand? Did you understand the question? Yes, sir. So try to write down the, the question of your own knowledge. Before that, you need to learn basic English, how to write a sentences, how to write uh, own sentences. This is very important for you. Then you can try to uh, improve your IELTS score. Yes, sir. Or, or if you have some question, I like to answer your question, or I will be to, I'm going to finish the classes in here. Okay, thank you, sir. Mr. Rayan Islam, do you have any question, Rayan, or you understand, Rayan Islam? Mr. Rayan Islam, are you listening to me? I think Ayan don't doesn't have a question, so we have to end the classes here. Thank you very much for everyone to join with us. And the last thing I again like to say, this is very important for us to have your respected score, find out your weakness, where are you doing, then you try yourself to improve your score. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to join with me. Okay.